In this example, determine if the following functions has an inverse function. The function have an inverse function when it is one to one. That means it passes the horizontal line test. That means when you have the graph, there are no more than one intersection for each horizontal line that go across the graph. In part A, f of x is the quantity x plus 2 to the power 3. This is the transformation of the more basic function x to the power 3, which is in this form. And then with the plus 2, plus 2 means the graph shifted to the left two units. So the graph moved to the left two units, like this. So when we use the horizontal line test, go across the graph, we do not have any line that passing more than one intersection point. We can say that f of x has an inverse function. because it passes the horizontal line test. The next one, the gx equals x squared minus 3x. This one is the graph of the parabola. If we look at the intercept, this is x times x minus 3. So we have the graph of the parabola crossing the x-axis at 0 and 3. The graph will look like this. And when we use the horizontal line test, that means we're going to draw the horizontal lines, at least one line that has two intersection points. That means this function graph does not pass the horizontal part doesn't pass the horizontal line test. Therefore, g of x is not one to one. That means gx does not have an inverse function.